Hey everybody, it's James from Galvatone Audio. Today we're here and we're going to check out M Cabinet from Melda Production. Probably the best impulse response loader ever. All right, folks, so here we are. We are inside of Studio One, my DAW of choice. I've got a DI track from the EP I did with Trauma Bonds, the new band I'm playing guitar for. It's the song Enough. It's just straight DI guitar. In fact, the best way. I can demonstrate this plugin is to get the simplest amp in front of it. So I've got the Jens Bogren, Bogren, Bogren amp knob Rev C in front of it, literally as simple as it gets, and a gain knob with an on off switch. But they just recently updated it where you can turn off the cabinet. This is what it sounds like with the stock cabinet. Sounds pretty good, I would have to say. So let's turn off the cabinet. Without the cabinet, it's going to be pretty harsh. This is what it sounds like. Ugh, I didn't want to go too far with that. So let's open M cabinet. Now, M cabinet, I don't remember how I stumbled upon this, but it was actually a very, very long time ago. And it's actually the main plugin I use to make my impulse responses and also to load my impulse responses because most impulse response programs they actually load the wave file they actually take the file and they load it inside the plugin which is good you want that but sometimes you know one of the things that can happen that could go terribly wrong is you might accidentally delete it and then or if you're moving from session to session or to uh a system to another system, they might not have your impulse response or your session doesn't copy it. So what this does is it actually creates its own curve based on the impulse that it analyzes. So it actually makes its own thing. It doesn't even load the file. It creates a curve from the file. So let's analyze IR. It's got its own weird, you know, thing going on here as far as the, uh, you know, the finder and trying to look up cabinets. So I'm going to look up something. We'll do the Gojira DSP ones. How about that? We'll go to new normalized. I capped all these because they sounded so great. So there we go. And as you can see, boom, it made a curve. Let's listen. Start from the beginning. Sounds good, right? No simple shit, right? Well, here's where it gets fun. So as you can see right here, there's profiles, a ton of profiles. There's also different settings to mess with each curve. So there's prof smoothing, whatever that is, tilt smoothing, so another one, widening if you're doing stereo, pitch, you can actually change the pitch, and flattening. Uh, I'll kind of mess with these as it plays. Let's go. So as you can see, I was kind of messing around and, you know, there was some different things it was doing. We have some dry, wet, analog shift, all that stuff. But you saw that it was actually smoothing out the little inconsistencies. But this is where it gets fun. So there's actually different resonators as well. So there's different ways to make the impulse it's kind of sound like it's in a room or resonate in a different way. Let's mess with it. I don't really mess with this section too much because we're gonna to get to the good stuff here in a second. So let's check it out. Here's without it. Here's with it. Uh. 
So it's kind of like a faux room creator, which is pretty nuts if you ask me. Uh, I'm going to turn it off because I want to get to the good stuff. So as you can see, there's profiles. We can actually load in different impulse responses uh, and try them out. We can actually A, B them. So if I go to two, notice how it flattens out. I go menu here, analyze. Let's go to a different one. You know what? I just happen to have this Pantera impulse response, which, you know, debatably a really bad sound, but let's give it a shot. Woo! High end. But the cool thing is we can go back and forth. Isn't that cool? Let's do another one. Let's do a third one. I'm going to, you know, there was one I made of the Howard Benson cab. It was the stock cabinet just right when you loaded the Howard Benson STL plugin. I'm just going to load that. Let's listen. Lots of high end. It's more for like rock, maybe not so much metal, but that's okay. Let's AB them all. Absolutely love that. And it, remember, it's not touching or I'm sorry, it's not even loading the file. It's just creating its own curve. Why is this awesome? Well, this is where the shit hits the fan. So I've got three of them. What if I wanted to make a cabinet that had the characteristics of all three of them, like, like melting them together? Well, we've got this profile mixer. Check this shit out. Now here's all those profiles. We only did the first three. So we've got the Gojira one on one, got the Pantera one on two, got the STL Howard Benson one on three. Let's let's mess around. <laughs> What in the fuck? Isn't that cool as shit? It's literally spectrally creating a new impulse with just those two cabinets. It keeps stacking more and more. I've tried literally loading all 16, and it does become just rounded out like the same old cab. It kind of takes the characteristics of everything. Uh, but it's, I mean, it's so cool. So let's try, let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's the Gojira with the Howard Benson. It actually sounds really good. I would use this live. Maybe not live. It's a lot of high end. So. Let's do all three. Let's do just the Pantera and the Howard Benson. Isn't that cool as shit? What if I want to use this? What if I want to create a file from this? Well, I believe, I haven't done this in a while. If you go to toolbar at the very bottom right here, IR, you click that, generate impulse response, name it, pick a folder, boom, you've got it and it's saved. Now, it is a little quiet. You might have to normalize it, but that's okay. I mean, you have an impulse response ready to go, and it's really good when you're creating your own, like if you mic a cabinet, and let's say, you know, obviously, you've done the capture. You got to trim it. This will actually look past all the trimming. It'll look at just that hit. Well, James, what if I want the low end of one cabinet, the mids of another, and the highs of another? Well, this is where it gets really cool. There's actually two different plugins. There's M Cabinet, and then there's M Cabinet Multiband. Check this out. So this is the same exact plugin, as you can tell. But look up here, we've got three different sections. Now, the best way I've learned to use this is I actually go and just activate this middle section. I'm going to click on the middle section to make sure it's selected. I'm going to find a cabinet with really awesome mids. You know, that Gojira one had really awesome mids. So let's find it. Here it is. 
See, clicked it. Bam. All right. Now, if I click this, I can move it out of the way. Click it. See, it's a whole new thing. I actually have Ola England's The One. It's available on his website. Um, it's so good. It's a very, very bassy. There it is. It's a very bassy. Uh, oversized recto cab. So if I click that, bam, there it is. Oh, so good. So now I can mix those two. Check it out. Isn't that fucking awesome? I now have the low end and the low mids of the one with the mids and highs of the Gojira cab. That is ridiculous. Let's listen. Let's add some highs. You know, the Pantera one and the Howard Benson one. Had some pretty gnarly highs. You know where this is going. Let's find it. So, you know, just for fun, we'll do the Pantera one. There it is. All right. It's loaded. I'm going to bring it in. <laughs> it's so... Uh, let's do the... Uh, I'm going to do the, the Howard Benson one just because it's a little bit more tamed. I mean, it's still a lot of highs, but ah, it's not like that dime bag. Sorry, dime. I love you, but holy crap. Here we go. And yes, you can solo each band. You can listen to all of it. Probably hitting the limiter real hard. Let's see. Isn't that cool? I love it. Absolutely love this plugin. I use it all the time. And I plan on using it for future Gilbert Tone impulses and helping other artists create their tone. It's just such a good tool. I wanted to share it with everybody and really show the power of this but this company has so many cool plugins like they're just great m cabinet for life and there you go that's m cabinet from melda production literally my favorite impulse response loading plugin it is so cool check out that company melda production they have so many cool plugins that are fairly priced I got lucky with this one. I can't even remember how much I bought it for, but it was cheap at the time. I'm so glad I got it. It literally takes out a lot of headache that I've had to do trying to create the stuff that I do. And this literally is 50 steps in a single click. I love it. So check them out. This is James with Gelbertone. Check us out at gelbertone.com. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. And I hope to see you again. Peace. And then